He may be a surgeon. He may reach more people in an hour than most doctors treat in their lifetimes. But it's no secret that TV star Dr. Oz doesn't exactly prioritize evidence-based health advice, especially when it comes to weight loss. He was even called before a Senate subcommittee recently to explain, I don't get why you need to say this stuff because you know it's not true. Dr. Oz once told me in an interview that if he didn't have the glitzy stuff, nobody would watch his show. The trouble is, viewers get common sense advice along with a big dose of nonsense. It can be hard to tell the difference. Here are three of Dr. Oz's biggest weight loss lies to watch out for. Number one. So on the show, Dr. Oz often likes to claim metabolism boosters are the holy grails of weight loss. Behind these walls, I've got five revolutionary metabolism busters to bust through the fat after 40. He tells people to invest their money in everything from special powders to teas and extracts for their mega metabolism boosting capabilities. There are certain foods that'll boost your metabolism momentarily, like coffee or chili spices, but the change is so small that it would never have an impact on your waist Line. We're talking less than half a calorie per minute for a short period of time. So Dr. Oz's metabolism boosters won't burn your fat, but they will burn your money. Number two, Dr. Oz will often say that you can blast away your belly fat by going on a diet or taking supplements. Add these to your diet to get rid of your belly once and for all. The truth is there's just no evidence whatsoever to support this notion that targeted fat loss is possible. You just can't lose weight in one part of your body no matter how appealing it sounds. Number three, on almost every Oz show, he likes to claim certain supplements can help you lose weight. Supplements, those simple, safe, no prescription required pills and potions that can blast your fat, kill your cravings. Garcinia cambogia, raspberry ketones, green coffee bean supplements. But most of these supplements have not been properly studied in people and some have actually never been studied in humans. Or if they have, the studies are generally so small and flawed by design, there's no way to know whether they actually work. And let's face it, if there was a fat buster in a bottle, we wouldn't have an obesity problem. So when should you listen to Dr. Oz? I'll let him explain. What works for most people? What works for most people is, is a diet based on real food, food that comes out of the ground, looking the way it looks when you eat it, it's not been processed, uh, with some physical activity. Most of weight loss, I believe, is about the food choices you make. Most of keeping your weight low is about the physical activity you engage in.